What's up guys, Z Farls here with important Madden Challenge news. As you can see here on Twitter, final rankings for the online elimination phase for Salary Cap Ranked Beta are out and invites are coming out. Uh, there's going to be alternates coming in and you must respond to check in for the tournament. It's Monday, May 23rd. So you have until Wednesday the 25th at noon Eastern. So look for the invites, check your spam folder, make sure your origin account's up to date. Tweet at Matt Marku, get involved, figure it out guys because here are the leaderboards. Let's go over it and talk a little bit about it. Here's the top 200 on Xbox One. Um, so 3 p.m. the event's gonna open. May 27th, you have 9 p.m. round of 32, and then May 28th at 1 p.m. round of 16 for the rest of the day, and that's going to finish up. Um, keep an eye out for the invites. So, as you can see here, we've already got some qualifiers. So, let's take a look at the five things you got to know. Um, number one, people out there saying, looks like problem didn't qualify. He already qualified. He qualified because of his top four placement at the first Madden Challenge, which you guys watched out at the Super Bowl, where he was defeated by Skimbo. Skimbo went on to lose in the finals to Sirius Mo. Uh, I think in overtime. Um, D. Jones also qualified. So let's take a look and go through the Xbox One leaderboards, which is just filled with names and killers, all point some out that I know. Okay, and if I don't know you guys, I'd like to get to know you. I'd love to see your channel. If you stream, if you're gonna play your games, please let me know. I'll be willing to stream them and I'll call your games. If you're gonna play, uh, you know, your tournament games, let me know. I'll get with Gibbs. We will share the screen and we can broadcast your games out to a bigger audience. If you're willing, if you don't want to and you don't want to be stressed, that's cool too. But I'd love to get to have more people see your gameplay. Uh, so I'm not familiar with the first three that I can think of off the top of my head, or I don't know what their tags are. But Tenacious comes in at number four. Remember Tenacious at the Madden Challenge said he was going to flood the guy, and he put that playmaker at halfback curl into the community. I think he was ended up being defeated by Sirius Mo, but Tenacious is a good player. Good to have him back uh, in the challenge. SDW, very, very good player. He defeated me heavily at the start of this season. He, he put a beating on me, so I definitely haven't forgot that name. Snaponic, who we predicted to make it to Burbank in season one, is up here in the top 10. Rose Bowl, who made it, uh, I believe, out there to the first event, at least as an alternate. I saw him out there at some point, but he's qualified. I think he lost to M-Stack in the second series. Uh, Beast Mode Mac, who I who I know and saw in the first one. Dubby, who we've had on This Week in Madden. He's number 12. Uh, he got a big lead of me in the first half. I battled back, but a very good player. Um, runs quarter street deep, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, if he can hold up with salary cap teams, which I bet he's doing pretty well. Uh, Zan comes in at the number 27 spot. Quick note about Zan, as you guys know, his channel. Forward Progress Madden. Um, Zan 4 p.m. I think is his Twitter. Zan, you're my boy. But all I saw was you complain on Twitter about the rankings. About am I going to fall asleep and lose? Am I going to lose too many spots? I can't play enough. Yada, yada, yada. Bro, you're number 27. You're, you're in the top tier. You're in the top half. Come on, Zan. But congratulations to making it into the bracket. Just kind of running through here. Stiffmeister, obviously from Madden Daily, who I think comp competed in Season 2. Or maybe that was one of the other Madden Daily guys. I know Lights Out made it from Season 2 from Madden Daily, and he already made it once to Burbank. Um, but I know there's Stiff, and then there's one other guy, Fiasco. So maybe it was Fiasco that was in Season 2. But anyway, good to see Stiffmeister in there. Madden Turf's in there, very recognizable. Um... Cyrus the Virus, going back to the Madden bus. Jano from Madden Tips. Uh, WAP is from Madden... I consider him a Madden Tips guy. I know he's more of a Madden Reddit guy, but he's cool with us. Uh, so shout out to him. That's uh, Shira, S-C-I-A-R-A. -A. I think Ready to Rumble is Rumble, who made it there already. 
Bogues coming in at 63 on Xbox, dude, if you're like, if you qualified, you ground all the way up, I know that these seeds might not hold, but like, you're one, two, or three, and then you see Bugs at 63, and that's going to be your first matchup. That's terrible, because Bugs obviously a very, very good player. Uh, just now, just scrolling down through, a Comfy Door. I saw a Comfy Door beat Bugs, or I don't know if he ended up beating him the other night, but I think then someone said he had played Problem and beat him pretty good. So Comfy Door is like, if he's 81, you know, we don't know if he's going to get in. We don't know how many people are going to answer, how many people are actually qualified. That's for the commission to decide. But I don't want to play Comfy Door. I don't like seeing his gamer tag up there. M Stack got to 91. Shout out to M Stack, uh, who had a good run in season. Must have been two. Season two. No, season one. Season one of this. I Bull's the name I recognize. Obviously, problems there, as I think Problem and Snowman. But he, like you said, he already qualified. Um, Tope, I wonder if that's Tope Nasty. You got Madden Daily in there, but they've already qualified, depending on which Madden Daily that is. And uh, shout out to everyone for playing. James Piano, he already qualified in Draft Champs, so shout out to him. And, dude, I don't want to play over there on PS4, I'll, or on Xbox One. But PS4 is no slouch, too. We had, you know, Skimbo come out of there. He came out of both sides, but... Let me know in the comments if you think Xbox One is tougher or if PS4 is tougher. I know most people are going to go Xbox One's way tougher for us, but look at PS4 here. You got uh, Seattle Bum who streams. Let's see who else is hidden in this PS4. And like I said, I'm going by real fast, so if I miss you, no disrespect. Uh, Sixth Sense, I believe, made it out to Burbank already, if I recall. He had some uh, good plays. Young Kid, and glad to see that he kept grinding back. I recognize uh, Goes Madden, Stevie J, local Orlando guy, uh, college guy. Good to see him grind to get back in. I think he was not as happy with his first performance as he would have wanted. Uh, the Secret Man, I wonder if that's Secret, who didn't do well in the Invitational, but you know is obviously still good enough to qualify. Master Gamer asks great questions on Twim every week, so I love him. I recognize Chancellor Palms. Who else is in here? Let's see, let's find our peeps. Who else made it on PS4? Getting down, but I mean, to all these players who, who just played and grinded games, like, good stuff. Like, awesome that just this amount of games have been going on. And like I said, if I missed you or I didn't, there's a lot of people I know their Twitch names or I know their Twitters, but I don't recognize their gamer tag. Um, I, I definitely think I recognize Primetime. And then there's a lot, yeah, there's a lot of names like, um, I wonder if that's, uh, I wonder if that's Rose Bowl. Um, I'm trying to find an example of a name where it's like, like the Sandman, that could be any Sandman. That could be Sandman from Wrestling, that could be Sandman from Madden, that could just be XX Sandman, who's not related to YY Sandman, who's not related to ZZ Sandman. That could be any Primetime, that could be Primetime Casey. Yes, that could be Primetime. Anyway. Uh, you get the deal. There's a lot of gamer tags that I don't fully grasp. But the the big thing is, let me know what you're thinking, who you like, who you've seen play. If there's a guy I miss, go, no, Faros, I've watched the number two best stream. He's really good. You're missing out. Because D. Jones, remember D. Jones, who's already qualified as well, will be in there. If you've got a favorite player you like, if you think, nah, man, it's just, is it, can anybody beat Problem again? Can anybody beat Problem again if you, get, if you think that's what's going to happen? Let me know. Um, but make sure to follow the commish, check all your invites, tweet him if you're having trouble. And I think he said it best right here. Um, seriously, guys, if you if you ground on this and you know maybe you didn't just have enough time or you didn't have the team put together or you didn't you know get it this time, seriously, even if you're on that leaderboard and you're not gonna make it in. Um, this is the start of competitive Madden. We've been talking about it. There's been a lot of guys who've been traveling to tournaments and they're seeing this and they're saying, and this salary cap thing, guys, this is something that is brand new. So stay focused, support if you can, if you can support and watch the tournament games this weekend. Like I said, we'll try and stream them. So let me know, email me, cfarls at mandtips.com. Um, just Try and support it if you can. I know it's tough to sometimes watch if you didn't quite make it, but there's a lot to learn. There's a lot of good players in this. And don't give up on it. Don't give up on it because 
Madden 17 is next year. We've already got the first details on it, which I've broken down. But we would love the support of the community to make the Madden Challenge bigger, better than it's ever been. And the community is in a really positive place. We've got some good leaders, and we want to keep it going. So please, please, please comment. Let me know who your favorite is. And give the channel a follow if you want to see some more Madden Challenge related content. Until the weekend, stay up, follow the invites, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. This is Z Farrells, signing out.